Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com and Acer's just getting into the Android business, which is kind of cool. But they've done something that, well, honestly, a lot of manufacturers are doing, and that's customizing the device with their own UI. With Android, that's really, really easy, because all you have to do is replace the launcher app. So let's go take a look and see what Acer's done with their launcher app. <laughs> Alright, first off, this isn't an Acer device, this is a Nexus One running Android 2.2, but it's got the Acer launcher on it. Now, some of our good friends over at XDA Developers have gone through and ripped the launcher out of one of the Acer devices and have made that available for download. So please go over to pocketnow.com and check the article that this video is going to be posted on, and I'll give you that link, or at least the link that was working when I tried it. So let's get into the good stuff. First of all, you're going to notice that this is a very, very clean UI. Up at the top here, you've got your time and date with kind of a, a neat bar subdivision. I've got my time set to 24 hour time, so it says that it's 0744 hours. Um, if you've got just a regular 12 hour clock, it's just going to say 744. So that's kind of neat. One thing that you'll notice up in the top, there is no traditional notification bar. I don't know how many bars I have. I don't know how much battery life I have. I don't have any of that information. I don't know if Bluetooth's on. I don't know if Wi-Fi's on, which really I think is kind of a little bit, you know, it'll take some getting used to. But for a nice clean screen, it does a really good job. Next thing I want to show you is down here you've got, I'll come back to that in a minute, down here you've got a, a, a little tray, if you will, of icons. And these icons are what you think are the most frequently used apps, and they're customizable. To get to your app drawer, it's really simple. You just drag this up, nice and fluid with some semi-transparency up at the top. As soon as you get up to the top, now you have little text icons, or little text underneath your icons, rather, to show you what they are. So again, down here, they're kind of compact with a little reflection, a little nice touch there. And then over here, no more reflection. Instead, they've got the word underneath it describing what it is. If you want to toggle this out really quick, let's say that I don't use Market all the time and I want to use Feeder, I tap and hold, drag up, drop. It's just that simple. Now when I look at it, Feeder is right there positioned prominently. Now obviously, this isn't all the apps that I have installed on my device. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you do this. You'll notice down here on the bottom, there's a little paginator. And it says I'm on page two of five. So I can go over here, that's my first page of apps. Second page, third page, fourth page, you, know, you get the idea. So, kind of cool. And then, of course, back to the home screen. One thing you'll notice is there are really no, there's no room for widgets on here. You can tap and hold and get into this control panel that lets you change your wallpaper and some other stuff, but every time I've done that, it's force closed. That's probably because I don't have uh, another APK installed, something that I need to have, but it's one of those things that when you're installing stuff that's been ripped out of other ROMs, you kind of have to get used to. Okay, so back to the home screen. A couple things you'll notice is I've got these little grippies over here on the side, and they really don't look like the traditional Android grips over on the, the sides of the screen. Can you see those? Let me see if we can zoom in a little bit. Just this little gray bar area here and then another one right here. So let me show you what those do, because it's really kind of cool. Uh, first of all, let's go over to the side, and this has three different options, pictures, music, and videos, and you've got kind of a little carousel scroller here to show you all of the folders that you have pictures inside. That's kind of neat. Let's go over to music, and it's just, this, just that, it's your music, and then last is your videos. So there's my daughter playing the piano. And they're all in this nice carousel. Tap this little arrow, which I believe is pointing the wrong way, but that's just me. And it will take you back to the home screen. Use the grippy on the other side, which after I force closed, it got rid of all my history. I had all this set up for you, so you're going to have to bear with me as I go in and do some stuff. Uh, so let's go into the browser app, and you'll notice it had kind of a neat fly-in effect. I really, really like that. It's not your your typical just kind of zoom pop, whatever you want to call it, that that 
expands your app to fill full screen. It's kind of an elastic effect. So let's launch something else and I'll show you. It also does that same minimize thing and it minimizes over here, which we'll get to. So let's now go into feeder. Again, that animation. We'll go back home and let's go into the phone dialer. So here's my dialer. Go back home, same animation. And let's do one more for good measure. Let's uh, see, I wanted to do that uh, up and down scroll instead of side to side. So it's going to take a little bit to get used to. So there's the market. And we'll go back. Now you'll notice all of these have kind of been minimizing off to the side over here. And now I've got that grippy. So let's open it up and look. And sure enough, I now have a history carousel of the apps that I've just recently run. The browser, feeder, the phone dialer and the market. If I tap it again, it takes me right back into it. Really kind of a cool UI. It looks really neat. I wish we could do more stuff with, uh, with customizing it, but maybe one of you guys out there reading or watching this video can get in there and figure out why it's doing that force close and help the others of us to fix it. Um, I certainly hope we can, but hey, you know, it's really cool what Acer's done here. The only things that I could recommend for them in the future would be to put that notification bar back or give us some way to put it back. And maybe you can through the settings that we can't get to because it was forced closing. I, I just don't know. But overall, very cool, very impressive. It's Android, but it's Acer. It looks very sleek and smooth. But don't take my word for it. What do you think? Leave comments down underneath the video. Of course, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the Pocket Now video channel, now is the time to do that. And as always, for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.